Alright brother, welcome back to another one of my rants, and today I'm going to rant about why the hell does every single game have three editions? Shouldn't it just be one game? We're going to talk about it brother today, and believe me, it's going to be huge. It's going to be Wrestlemania 59 huge brother, so stay tuned. Alright brothers, the first defender that we're looking at today is Battlefield 1, a hot new shooter that I happen to enjoy. But the one thing brother that really pisses me off is that there's three flipping editions of this. I remember back in the mid 2000s in the 1990s brother, you just got a game, that's all it was. It had a complete game, no DLC, no patching, none of it. It was good, it was golden, it was perfect. Now today it seems like we always have to have three types of games. We have a standard edition, a deluxe edition, and the ultimate super deluxe edition. And right now, brother, in front of my face is a heapy pile of crap. You want to know how much money this damn thing is? Do you really want to know, brother? It's $189 for a damn toy, a book you don't even know what the contents of, some trading cards, a patch to wipe your ass, and a box. Who the hell wants a box? Oh, and don't forget the handkerchief to wipe your tears after you spend that much money on a pile of heaping of crap. It's ridiculous. It's gone way too far, brother. All people want to do is play video games. If they want to buy a figurine, well, they better go to flipping Target and buy themselves some glue, some paper, and some wood and make their own. And better get enough to do some wood cutting, brother, because this is ridiculous. I've had enough of this crap. I just want a game. Just play it. DLC comes out. Fuck that shit. Just release the entire game brother. I'm tired of this crap. I'm done. Let's go ahead and look at our next offender and believe me you guys know this one all too well to your heart. Alright brother the next one we're looking at is Call of Duty Infinite Blowerfare as I call it. Now I'm always up Activision's ass and grabbing them by the balls because believe me they seem to consistently piss me off with every Call of Duty game and this is no exception. Who in their right mind was a damn beanie some cards, some lantern, a flashlight, and a flashlight to find their flipping brain because you have to lose it to buy something like this. This is over $100 for a whole game, brother. It better come with DLC. It better come with a season pass. It better come with a flipping controller. But no, it comes with a carry-on back. Where the hell are you going carrying shit? You better flipping grow some muscles and carry everything by your arms, brother, because these biceps are huge. Now, I am not a fan of Call of Duty Infinite Blowerfare. That is correct. It does do some things good. It at least color coordinates all the crap that it gives you. Except the Call of Duty box does not match the beanie. That really pisses me off, brother. But why in the hell would someone buy that when they can just make their own by getting a bunch of bullshit? But let's go ahead and move on to the final offender here. Alright brothers, the last offender we're looking at is Final Fantasy XV, that's right, the game that everybody loves, the game that says that it's the best Final Fantasy to this date, and let me tell you brother, they are further from the truth, because they lost me when I saw a standard deletion edition, a deluxe edition, and a premium super awesome edition, but that's 90 bucks brother, who is spending 90 bucks on a digitally deluxe game, I tell you, like in the previous part, you better have a flashlight to find your brain, brother, because you have obviously lost it. And believe me, Square Enix, out of all the challengers on this video, you're the one I'm challenging to WrestleMania. Because this one is ridiculous, and I'm taking you out. Because in their description, you only get the following in the Deluxe Edition. You get a Final Fantasy XV game, which I'd like to see. You also get an exclusive steelbook featuring artwork from Yoshitaka Amano, as well as the following, more crap, more crap, more crap, and more crap. Why the hell is there DLC costumes in a Final Fantasy game? Why not let me create my own costume and put it in the game? Final Fantasy 15 does not need DLC. Now I have to admit, almost every single Final Fantasy game has games before, after, X2, 5, 2, whatever. After the years, before the years, it's ridiculous. And this is also out of control. Deluxe edition is ridiculous. No one wants that. I just want the game. I want the feels. And it's not providing me the feels without all that extra crap. It's ridiculous. That's all I have to say about this rant, brother. I see Final Fantasy XV, Square Enix, in a handicap match. 
at WrestleMania 59. You better bring your A-game, brother. You better bring some steel chairs. You better bring some barbed wire. Because I'm going to take you out, brother. You better believe it. So, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. If you want to see more rants like this. And also, comment down below, down below on what really ticks you off in this rant. Is it Battlefield 1, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, or Final Fantasy 15 that's gone to the dark side? Even though the dark side does have a better gym. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next rant, brother. Or WrestleMania 59. Whatever comes first.